BT Global Services is a division of United Kingdom telecommunications company BT Group that provides global security, cloud and networking services to multinational companies worldwide, with operations in 180 countries. It was established in July 2000 as BT Ignite. History Topic Renaming BT Group began operating as a private corporation after the Telecommunications Act 1984. During the 1990s, between the loosening of national telecom monopolies and the current largely liberalized market, BT Group entered into a number of alliances in order to serve its mainly, then, UK based multinational customers. From the 90s through the early 2000s, BT Group, then known as British Telecom, struggled. The company failed to secure a strong partner, struggled to expand internationally, and had significant debt. In 2002, the attempt at an alliance, Concert 2 with R and R, was disbanded. Thereafter, the company brought together a number of joint ventures, partly owned assets and wholly owned subsidiaries into the single entity that exists today. On April 1, 2002, BT's contracts with former concert customers were transferred to BT Global Services and BT Retail. BT Ignite was renamed BT Global Services in April 2003. By late 2003, around 50% of BT Global Services about 5,000 staff were employed outside the UK. Acquisitions Between 2002 and 2009, the Global Services Division made a string of acquisitions to expand its global footprint and broaden its business offer to customers. Most notable are Radens, the then network arm of Reuters in 2005, the global network operator Infonet in 2005, managed security market leader Counterpane in 2006. U.S. IT consultancy company International Network Services Corp. INS in 2007 An Asian Systems Integrator Frontline in 2008 in 2016, Global Services signed an agreement to acquire IP Trade SA, a provider of unified communications and collaboration solutions for trading floor environments and command and control dispatch centers. Topic customers In 2005, Global Services won a multi-year worldwide outsourcing contract to provide communication and IT services to Fiat in a deal worth €450 million, Euros £303 million pounds over five years across 40 countries. BT also acquired Fiat subsidiary, Atlantic for €80 million Euros which provides domestic telecom services to Fiat and other business customers across Italy. In 2006, Atlantic was merged with Albacom to form BT Italia. In 2006, Global Services agreed a £100 million seven year worldwide outsourcing contract to provide communication and IT services to PepsiCo, across their 900 locations in more than 60 countries, as well as upgrading their network infrastructure. In 2008, Global Services agreed a $650 million $332 million five-year worldwide outsourcing contract to provide communication and IT services to Procter & Gamble, across more than 1,100 locations in more than 80 countries. In January 2016, Global Services agreed a £100 million seven-year contract with the BBC to provide its broadcast network 
Network from April 2017, when it finishes its remaining contract with Vodafone UK via ATOs. The deal will see the BBC move to a new, state-of-the-art network that will link all BBC UK sites, including 21 broadcasting centres and local radio stations, as well as connecting to the main overseas bureau and partners for playout of the BBC's TV channels. It will carry all video, audio and data traffic, as well as fixed line telephony, ISDN and broadband services. On the 10th of February 2016, Global Services announced it has been awarded a 5-year contract worth more than 9 million pounds to deliver computer and data center services to Bromley London Borough Council. The contract was won by BT as part of a Pan-London Framework Agreement for Information and Communications Technology ICT services set up by Westminster City Council, the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea and Hammersmith and Fulham Councils. Global Services also manages the Global Network IT estates for Komatsu and Randstad Holding. In January 2019 BT became the first international group to receive two national telecoms licenses from China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology which will enable it to sell services direct to Chinese customers. <laughs> <laughs> Finances At the start of 2009, Global Services took a £340 million write-down due to poor cost controls shortly after the resignation of its CEO François Barreau. Later in the year the company reported losses of £2.1 billion, despite sales of £8.8 .8 billion. Global Services then underwent a transformation program, including cost-saving initiatives, leading to substantial increases of EBITDA, operating profits and operating cash flow during its 2009-2010 financial year. In May 2010, BT announced an investment plan to increase its capabilities in the Asia-Pacific region. By the end of its 2010-2011 financial year, Global Services had increased orders with customers by 10% year-on-year, improved profitability, and became operating cash flow positive a year ahead of schedule. Total income for Global Services in 2016-7 was more than £5 billion. In 2017-2018 financial year Global Services reported a £5 billion revenue, £434 million EBITDA and £10 million operating profit. Management From 2004 until 2008 François Barreau was CEO of BT Global Services and President of BT International, before leaving the company after poor financial performance results. He was replaced by Hanif Lalani. Jeff Kelly was appointed CEO in early 2010. Luis Alvarez was appointed CEO, in October 2012. Prior, Alvarez had been president of BT's European, Middle East, Africa and Latin American operations. Bob Berger was appointed CEO on 1 June 2017. Martin Smith as Chief Finance Officer, Kevin Taylor as President of BT in Asia, Middle East and Africa, Chet Patel as Chief Transformation Officer and President of BT in Continental Europe, Ashish Gupta as President of BT in the UK and Global Banking and Financial Services, and Jennifer Artley as President of BT in the Americas.